I'm going to be taking a look at a feature in Lumion that I just found out exists. Um, so what it is, is the material set feature. Um, you can take any model and you can then sort of package up all these materials so that uh, when you load it onto another model, everything with the same name uh, will automatically have those materials on it. If you are willing to spend the time to go through and kind of set one of these up for each of your SketchUp uh, textures, since I know a lot of people are probably using them, um, you can have it so that every single time you just go and click that button in Lumion, all of those textures will automatically turn into that Lumion material. And one of the things I think is so important about doing this is that Lumion does not have to do the calculation. So I've talked about this before, but something that really bothers me uh, about Lumion is that when I'm going from like Lumion, uh, so Blender to Lumion, then every single time I have a texture, I have to sit there, click the button, let it calculate. But all that stuff is already done with the material set. So I really want to get into this video. Um, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it and it can help out a lot of people. So I hope you stick around till the end and I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna start off with a really easy example. Now I've already done uh, a couple little models. So I'm just going to delete them if they're still in Lumion. Nope, okay, so I'm gonna import them. So I'll just do this one floor, call this floor 12 or something. Uh, so I'll drop that here and then I'll import another one. So we'll do pillars maybe, pillars one. Okay, so if I drop these here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to materials uh, pick default material, uh, and I'm going to go, maybe we'll do indoor. Uh, I'll do Evermotion wood for this one, and I'll make this one uh, wood fine. Okay, so this, as I said, is probably like the easiest example that you're going to see. So it can get a lot more complex, and that's when you kind of want to use this. If it would just have one material, you could probably go, oh, okay, well, I'll go in and, you know, I'll fix that up. But what you can do with this is you can click on this material. Uh, so then that has the model that's open. I'm going to save the material set. And this one I'm going to call test one. So I'm going to save it. Now, everything that is called metal seamed in another model or default material in another model will automatically get these textures on them. So if I just click on this one, so as you can see, this is default material. So if I load in the material set, test one, and then you can see this pops up here, we'll hit overwrite. Okay, so that that is like the very basic, that's, that's how it works, but I kind of want to show you why I think this is such a cool trick. Um, something I do want to mention too, um, there was a scene that we were doing uh, well, I guess we are still working on it, but it's this massive scene. It, it We can only really work on it using the 3090. So it wasn't really a possibility for us when we were uploading a variation with variation control that we'd be going through and doing a bunch of stuff. So we saved the material set, uh, brought in the variation, hit load material, and then everything was ready to go. So all of the changes had been made to the building, then all of the glass, the tiles, everything like that was already done. So something that I thought would you know, probably have taken me like 45 minutes to an hour before because it's a very simple thing, I guess, to go through and do the materials, but it does take time. This is a big, uh, big time saver. And I, I literally just found out that it existed. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you now, um, what I was talking about with the SketchUp materials, because this is something that I think Dave Edwards, uh, he, he had talked about that he really wanted this in Lumion. So, um, if you didn't know about this, you do now, because I think that you, uh, would really like this. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I, I've i already kind of gone through and made a little example. So I will just show you what I did, and then I'll go and just kind of upload that into Lumion. So if I go here, I'm just going to do this. And this is, you know, you could do this any way you want. They don't have to be perfect, but I'm just going to make, uh, you know, nine grids here. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like that. And then how many sections do we have? So I'll take one, I'll just take the first material from every section so that it's, you know, kind of easy to remember. Uh, carpet, and then we'll go uh, glass. So that's there. Landscaping, there we go. Metal, uh, not up patterns, we'll do roofing. That one. Uh, stone, 
and tile. Okay, so I'm going to save this, and now I'm going to import material set. Call this whatever. So I'll drop that here, and then I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to give it some uh, a couple materials that uh, you know I think fit it. So this one, you know, maybe I can make it uh, outdoor wood. We'll do the these panels, and then just to kind of make them look a little bit closer, maybe I'll darken that up. Uh, this glass here, I'm just going to make that interior glass. Asphalt, uh, we'll just make this a polygon one that I like, maybe something like that. Uh, indoor, make this another polygon one. Uh, outdoor, I think it's stone. Ah, yeah, stone. So this one will make uh, something like that. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because I just kind of want to get that, just sort of show you what I was thinking of how it works. So maybe we'll just do something like that. Uh, tile. And that is... Oh, tiles. Um, something like this. Aluminum. And now the carpet. So yeah, sorry, that just took a second. I kind of wanted to just... Yeah, I really did want you guys to see sort of what I'm doing with this. So um, yeah. Now these nine SketchUp materials, um, at least in this, they have nine Lumion materials. So I'm going to save the material set. I'll call this one test two. We save it. And actually, you want to know what? I'm going to call this one SketchUp instead. SketchUp one. I'm going to delete this one. Uh, oh, SketchUp one. Okay, so now in SketchUp, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new SketchUp file. And let's give this a second to load up. I don't know why this is taking, it's going so slow. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to make like a little makeshift house kind of thing. So uh, what I'll do is I'm just going to throw on those uh, materials um, just so they're the same. So uh, I think uh, maybe do asphalt, throw that on. And then I will just do this just so that it's kind of easy to see. So I'll make that a group. Throw this in the corner. And then this one can be the brick. Copy that over. Carpet. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try too too hard to kind of line up all the materials so that they're perfect. Um, you know, I, like I could put the carpet on the floor and stuff, but it, that there's no point in kind of spending that extra time to do it in this. Um, so I will wait for the glass. So if I go something like this. Okay, and the glass would go here. Did I make it mirror? I have to double check that. Um, landscaping, we'll put that there. Metal, change that one. Bring this over. Um, roofing, make it that one. And yeah, I'm just going to clean this up a little bit and then put that there um, just so I can see too. So it's uh, carpet. All oh, right. The stone is the other one I'm forgetting. And I should, I need one more, which is, I have the roofing. Yeah, this is why, this is why I wanted to just have it set up because I didn't want to forget to uh, what it was and did I do asphalt? Yes. Um, okay. Well, I can't remember the last one there, <laughs> just at the top of my head. So what I'm going to do is I'll just import this, but you, you'll get the point. Um, so I will take this and I'll just call this SketchUp Material. Okay. So let's import this in now. I think the it's the beadboard that I missed actually. No, um, carpet. <laughs> oh, it's just tiles here, right? Okay. 
So tile. Okay, there we go. That's uh, what we wanted to do. So I can close that now. I will get rid of this because we don't uh, need to have it right now. And then I'm going to go import. So sketch up materials, load this in. And then as you can see, this is what we have. So all of these are the same as that nine square grid that I just brought in. Uh, and I could go through and just go like, oh, okay, you know, normally I for this one, I do that. But um, especially if you're working in a big team, you can really standardize everything. So if someone uses a particular kind of marble in SketchUp or you use a particular uh, kind of tile, uh, no matter what unit you're doing, you go bang, it's it's in there. And you can obviously make custom ones. Like if you had polygon um, assets that you loaded into Lumion, you can just take the diffuse map, bring that into SketchUp and then kind of save it in there. I've, I've never done that, but I'm pretty sure you can do that with the SketchUp library. Um, so then every time that you apply that material in uh, SketchUp, and then you come in and load it in Lumion, um, then you're gonna have that in the material set. So if I click this, load material, uh, sketch up one. So as we can see right here, so translucent glass gray, uh, roofing metal, asphalt new, Carrera marble, all that stuff, this is all loaded and ready to go. Overwrite materials, now it's all in there. As you can see, every single one changed. So if you are willing to spend the time to go and like, you know, change all these up, you can have it so that with one click, all of your textures automatically change. And what's kind of cool about this too, is that if you make adjustments here, like um, as you can see, like that colorization stayed. So if you change like the map scale, if you change the gloss, the reflectivity, all that stuff, that is gonna come in with the exact same um, like parameters. So um, you could have, you know, four different, um, four different wood textures inside of SketchUp. And depending on what one you pick, it's gonna come in either bigger or smaller. So you can even match up sort of like the map scale. Um, and yeah, I'm just amazed that I had not known about this because there's a lot of projects that this would have saved us a ton of time. I thought the only way that you could do it is to just go in and um, just kind of, you know, cl click your way through everything because um, this kind of makes me want to go through and just load all of our assets into Lumion so that if I'm using Blender or something and I import the material since we have a, a library, that when I come into Lumion, I just click load and then bang, everything's done, everything's loaded. Um, and while it would take a bit of time to do, it would make it so that uh, instead of taking sometimes 45 minutes or an hour to load all the textures up into my scene, I just click a button and it's ready to go. And especially for the workflow I do, that could save me a ton of time because I do my scenes almost entirely in Blender, and then I just do the rendering in Lumion. Um, so there is a lot of time that I have to spend manipulating materials. Um, but yeah, really cool trick. So if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you can hit that subscribe button, maybe drop a like on the video. Um, if you want to stick around for more videos, you can ring the bell uh, and always get notifications for when I make videos. Uh, I am hoping to have a couple other ones out this week. Um, so it'd be really nice if you stuck around for that. Uh, I just want to say if you are subscribed, thank you very much uh, for helping support the channel. We hit 2,400 subscribers today, which uh, it's always cool when you hit those little milestones. And it's been uh, it's been so awesome connecting with everybody. And that's been the main reason why I wanted to make this YouTube uh this YouTube channel just to uh, meet people from all around the world. So I'm going to leave it there for the night. Um, I will see you guys uh, shortly, I hope, um, in the next video. Have a great night.